What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over the hunting rifle and if it's actually worth using in Fallout 76. Starting off with the weapon, this is our 3 star legendary hunting rifle that we're going to be using for the video, and the main legendary effect is the quad effect, which is quadruple ammo capacity, has your VATS critical meter fills 15% faster, and it also has the bolts explode for 20% of the weapon's damage. Over in the mods, we're using the prime receiver, aligned long barrel, forceful stock, perforating magazine, medium scope, and the suppressor. Now to begin our demonstrations with our powerful hunting rifle, we've made our way over to the one, the only, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Bruce. Now I'm just going to shoot him a couple times to get his attention, then we're going to lock onto him in VATS. And there we go, we got 1,191 outside of VATS, holy crap. That is insane. Now we're going to lock onto his face, there we go, we got 1,191, and a 1,573 to finish him off. The next targets on our list to fill the wrath of our hunting rifle are all the disgusting super mutants located at the West Tech Research Center. And we're going to start with this warlord right here. We got a face shot. There we go. One shot and he's dead. Uh oh, uh oh. We have ourselves a legendary. Another face shot. Okay, that one didn't kill him with one shot. But however, one shot and three shots and he's dead. And that's outside of vats. That's pretty insane. Oh, brother you Y'all want to feel the power of the right? Oh, 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 oh. We got a suicider. Goodbye, you stupid suicider. One shot and he's dead. Another one shot down there and he's dead. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We've got ourselves a warlord right here. And we killed him with a 1,572. Holy crap. Goodbye, you stupid hound. Just get away from me. There we go. Fantastic, fantastic. One shot's all around. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We got ourselves a legendary. And he is now vanquished. What do we get? What do we get? Unyielding trapper right arm. Ooh, and it's a two-star. I'm actually going to have to grab that. Oh, brother, Angel, I want to fill the power of the hunting rifle. We got 905 to finish him off. And we got two more guys back here. We're going to kill one inside of Vats and one outside of Vats. Here's our outside of Vats guy, though. There we go. One shot. We got a 453. Oh, oh my God. There we go. We got rid of that one. Now inside of Vats with a Vats critical. 1,611 to finish him off. For our flying target, we have the level 75 Scorch Beast that goes by the name Charlie. And oh my god, she's rushing me. I had no idea she was going to land right there. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Gotta be careful. There we go. We got 956 to her. A 360. We need another Vats Critical. There we go. Another Vats Critical lined up. 956. Just a couple more shots and she's dead. Gotta watch out for my health. And just like that, our Scorch Beast is no more. Next up, we've made our way over to one of the most vicious creatures in all of Appalachia. We have the level 100 Myra Queen that goes by the name Bulma. And we're just going to back away while blasting her in the face. There we go, we got 453, a 1050 with a batch critical, a 697, another 697. Uh oh, uh oh, gotta be careful. We're bloody build, and she has hit me with poison. There we go, fantastic, fantastic. I'm just going to get up here real quick, that way I don't die. Oh, Myra Queen, feel the wrath of my hunting rifle, and we missed. There we go, we got 395. Uh oh, uh oh, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. She still doesn't see me, however, she's extremely, extremely close to me. There we go, we got a 607 without vats. A 434. Another 607 in the face. Another 607 in the face, and one more shot, and this Myla Queen is no more. Now, over in the build, these are the base stats and makeup our in game rifleman build that we use for the video. So, if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary prayer cards equipped. Over in the normal prayer cards, these are the normal prayer cards and makeup our in game rifleman build. Starting off in strength, we have 6 in the so can have traveling pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all kims, including stim packs, are reduced by 90%. We have blocker at 3 stars. Take 45% of less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in perception, we have 15, and this so can have all the rifleman cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of this weapon. We have tank killer at 3 stars. Your rifles and pistols ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. We have Concentrated Fire at 3 stars. Vats targets limbs, focus fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot. Over in Endurance, we have 11 and this one can have Ironclad at 2 stars. Gain 20 damage and energy resistance while not wearing power armor. We have Kinfin at 3 stars. Any Kims you take lasts 100% longer and we did take Overdrive and Psycho Tats in this video. We have Fireproof at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have Radical at 1 star. The greater the Rats, the greater the Strength, a max plus 5 to Strength. We have Rejuvenated at 2 stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. Over in Charisma, we have 6 and this one can have Filth Surgeon at 1 star. Stim Packs and Radaway will now work much more quickly. We have Stranger Numbers at 1 star. Positive Mutation Effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 8 and this one can have Nerdridge at 3 stars. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% to AP regen. We have Demolition Expert at 
5 stars. Your explosives do plus 60% to damage. Over in agility, we have 15, and this one can have action boy at 3 stars. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have covert operative at 3 stars. Your range attacks do an additional 50% sneak attack damage. We have escape artist at 1 star. Sneak to lose enemies and running no longer affects stealth. We have Gunfu at 3 stars. That swaps targets on kill with a 10% to 20% and then 30% to damage your next 3 targets. We have Adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. Over in Luck, we have 15 and this one can have Bloody Mess at 3 stars. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a gore red paste. We have Better Criticals at 3 stars. Vats Criticals now do plus 100% to damage. We have Serendipity at 3 stars. While below 30% health, gain a 45% chance to avoid damage, no power armor. We have 4 Leaf Clover at two stars. Each hit in Vats has a better chance to fill your critical meter. We have Starch Genes at two stars. You'll never mutate from Rads, and Radway will never cure your mutations. And we have Critical Savvy at two stars. Critical hits now only consume 70% of your critical meter. Over in Legendary Perk Cards, these are the Legendary Perk Cards that help make up our in-game Rifleman build. Starting off in Strength, we have that card maxed out. We have Endurance maxed out, Intelligence maxed out, Luck maxed out, Fall Through maxed out, and Far Flung Fireworks at three stars. These are the Legendary Perk Cards. Now let's get into my armor, buffs, and mutations. Over in the armor, what I'm using is a full set of unyielding gear which gives me a gain up to plus three to all stats except endurance when low health and since we're a low health bully build this is absolutely amazing over my backpack what i used is my trusty normal backpack with the high capacity mod to get a plus 120 to our carry weight over in the under armor what i'm using is my shielded secret service under armor to get a plus four to our strength a plus two to our perception and a plus four to our endurance over the mutations these are the mutations that we use for the build we have a general reaction bird bones eagle eyes egghead healing factor herbivore marsupial Scully skin and speed demon over in the buffs starting off with our food buffs we're using mute fruit juice to get a plus two to our agility simple firm flower tea to get a plus two to our strength potato juice to get a plus 20 to our max ap blight soup to get a plus 100 to our critical damage carrot soup to get a plus four to perception and of course a perfect bubble gum that way our hunger and thirst smears do not increase over in our kim buffs we're using overdrive to get a plus 13 to our critical damage and psycho tats to get a plus 1.35 to our perception damage resist increase and a plus 11 to our damage if you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of my favorite heavy guns in all Fallout 76, the Plasma Caster. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it in the screen right now. You see that? That is my Plasma Caster video. 